It's time for baseball on MLB Network. We celebrate Jackie Robinson Day with a great matchup between the Philadelphia Phillies and the Tampa Bay Rays. It's interleague baseball on MLB Network. Number 42 is ready to go as he'll be on the hill for Tampa Bay. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, this guy pitched well in his last one, getting through seven innings in his last start. We'll see if he can turn in another quality start and pick up the win in this one also. So digging in now, Cesar Hernandez. And we are ready for some daytime baseball. Underway now in the Sunday finale as the game's first pitch is taken for bowl one. And now this misses as well as he's behind the leadoff man this afternoon, 2-0 now. Well, here's a guy we know is swinging it pretty well at the plate lately. And based on those last two pitches, I think I know why. He's doing a great job of putting himself in counts where he's likely to be successful. Time now for a glance at the Phillies batting order in this one. Dan, who do we keep an eye on? Well, keep an eye on El Torito, Oduba Herrera, as this game moves along. He leads the team in on-base percentage, and we all know that's become a highly valued stat in today's game. He makes things happen for his offense, and a lot of times, when he's going good, the lineup is too. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Nope. Missed with a slider. And there are our umpires calling balls and strikes is Mr. Earl Hendricks. Hey, d -Roll, Earl <laughs> Hendricks, he, he's not a guy that gets a lot of complaints by either players or pitchers he's a pretty good umpire yeah Dan Earl's got a great track record in his sport he's pretty consistent and overall he's been a fair umpire grounded back up the middle and that finds its way into center for a one out base hit you don't see that too much in today's game most guys it doesn't matter what the count is they're looking to line up drive the ball out of the ballpark not the case here good two strike adjustment able to punch a ground ball through a hole for a single and that'll bring up the Sacramento product Reese Hoskins strike one to start the at bat. Hoskins behind the count 0 and 2. Runner at first here, one man out. Count remains at 0 and 2. Drilled right back up the middle. And that's through for a hit. And they'll have runners at the corners following the one out single. Boy, after that base knock right there, D. Rowe, he extends his hitting streak to seven games. Yeah, and you can tell he's made some necessary adjustments at the plate. Anytime you're getting a knock every day of the week, you're doing things right. He's keeping that front shoulder tough, staying inside the ball, not trying to do too much. Throw to second will be in time, but the run's going to come in and score. But he'll put this in his pocket and be content with just the one out. Looked like that might be an inning-ending double play off the bat. But that was some great hustle to beat the throw at first. Keeps the inning alive, and more importantly, he gets an RBI because of it. Into the box, Aaron Altair, as he will take a fastball in there at the knees for strike one. One and one to Aaron Altair. Herrera, the runner at first with two gone. Line hard toward right center. That gets down, and the inning continues. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Outside of home runs, nothing fires me up more than watching a good baseball player drive the ball of the opposite field. Talking about hitting the inside half of the baseball, that's exactly what happened right there. And when we say inside half of the baseball, imagine the ball. Well, the left fielder's on it, and that retires the side. Phillies will have to be content with just the one. On now to the bottom of inning number one. The Phillies lead. Nick Pavetta, the right-hander from Canada, will be the starting pitcher. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, he wasn't particularly good in his last one. If you look at the line score, he only lasted four innings, took the loss. He'll really be and hoping to turn in a much better range. performance in this one. Malik Smith, the next Malik. to hit. It lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. 
And that's inside for a ball, 1-0. Oh. Dan Dero, these Phillies, as they begin play here today, they've had it going the last 10 games. They're 7-3 and three over that stretch, including a win yeah. last time out. Yeah, Matty, this team has been playing really well right now. And, and, and this is case in point chance to jump out again to another one nothing lead they've really been doing that they've been on attack early offensive almost ambush like approaches to their at bats and it's working for them the one two slap hard the opposite way but coming on quickly is the left fielder to make the play for the first down and with that a look at the Rays lineup card in this one mark daytime baseball at home what do we need to know about these guys yeah, Maddie, a lot of professional at bats up and down this lineup. I know they're behind right now, but it only takes one guy to set the tone and get the boys going. So next to the plate for Tampa Bay, Matt Duffy comes off an 0 for 4 in last night's ball game. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And that slider is almost in the dirt. Strike. The bouncer to the left side fielded cleanly on the first, and there were two down. Batting third, second baseman, CJ. Coming to the plate now, CJ Crone. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. Two out, nobody on. A ball and a strike. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. Lifted into the air to shallow center. Hernandez onto the grass. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Rays go in order. One, two, three. They're down one nothing. Digging in now for Philadelphia. Jorge Alfaro. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And this one's not close. It's in the dirt for ball one. And a strike to even the count. One and one. Now the one and one pitch. To the left side, but it's well foul. The one two is taken for ball two. Uh, got him swinging on the split fingered pitch, and that's out number one. All right, let's take a look at the Tampa Bay Rays on defense. And let's take a look at Adani Echeverria. His calling card is 100% his glove. He's high up there in range. The ability to go in the hole and make the long throw across the diamond. Look for him to have a big impact on defense today. So here's the Phillies DH. J.P. Crawford. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. 0-1 the count. The 0-1 pitch. A fastball that just misses inside. To first. And he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. Batting ninth. Third baseman. Trevor. So next to the plate for the Phils, Trevor Plouffe. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. Off the plate and low here. Ball one. That one will get out of play, and the count evens up with one and one. Phillies have an early one nothing lead here in inning number two. Hit out towards second. Cone fields it cleanly. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. And after an inning and a half, it's one to nothing. Next to bat will be the Tampa Bay cleanup hitter, and number 42. And he's been one of the league's big Hilden. stories in April, number having come out of the gates extremely hot at the plate. And he lays off there, 1-0. A bouncer up the middle. 
Throw to first is in time for the first down. Time to take a look at the Philly D. And this team, they're not going to be moving around as much as some of the new age teams. The shifting and moving the third baseman over second base and the right fielder to play third base. This is going to be your stationary team trusting pitchers to execute pitches. Up next for the Rays, Christian Arroyo. He'll get to take his first cuts here. And he'll try to crowd him there to start the at-bat. It's 1-0. And the fastball hitting 93 on the gun. It's one and one. A ball and two strikes now. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there. Two away. Good job of making him chase a pitch for the strikeout there. Yeah, Matt, that's the advantage of getting ahead in the count. You can really force hitters to expand their zone and protect. And when they're in that mode, getting them to go after a pitch they can't do much with becomes a lot easier. Into the box now, number 42. A ball and no strikes. Trying to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. The 1-0. Finds the zone, strike one. Pretty adamant about working him inside right now. Back-to-back -back fastballs, and that one was able to find the zone. And a fastball just a bit high. In there, two and two. One that misses inside, and the counts run full now. Three and two. Hard hit ball to second. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Nothing across here this half of the inning. We've played two full. Phillies on top, one to nothing. Welcome back to this MLB Network broadcast from St. Pete, Florida. Nice look there at nearby Clearwater. Digging in to try it again, Cesar Hernandez. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. And that one's in on the hands to start the inning. It's ball one. Lifted the other way down the left field line. Smith in pursuit, and that will end up a foul ball. The one two is offered at and missed. He chased it for strike three. Nice two seam fastball there. You don't usually see a lot of swings and misses with that pitch unless it's really moving. So that one must have had some real good late life. Standing in now, number 42. This is in the air out to straightaway center. Under it is the center fielder, and that's the second out of the inning. Now batting. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Reese Hoskins. A base hit in his first trip. First offering on its way. And he nope. takes ball one. One and out. A ball and a strike. Bases are empty here with two men out. And there's ball two now. A 3-1 count to the Phillies left fielder. This is a good at bat so far here with two away. If you're going to go down one, two, three, at least make the guy work for it. He's doing that, and he's even gotten himself into a good hitter's count now. Hey, guys, this, he's not known for being a singles hitter right here, but that's his second knock of the game. And I'm sure he'll take him, but the guys on the other side of the scorecard might be thinking we really avoided a worse fate. Here's the center fielder, Odubel Herrera. He offers at it and hits it in the air to left. Smith is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. One left for Philadelphia. 
but they hold a 1-0 lead. Riding in, number 42, 7, 8, and 9 and to start the home third. The Not much going on Carson offensively so far for these number guys. Six up, six down. We'll see if the bottom part of the lineup can get something going. Well, the home crowd seems a little restless, so I'm sure they'd appreciate it. This for Poof down at third. And there's one down now. So one away in the inning, and it's time to check out the standings in the National League East to see where the Phils find themselves entering play today. Here's Echeverria now, and he's looking to get it going. Off to a bit of a slow start this year. Here it comes. And that's in there for strike one. He's looking really great on the bump right now. I mean, it's been a while since he's allowed a base runner, and he just jumped ahead of another hitter right there. And there's ball one. A great case of a manager sticking up for his pitcher right there and giving that umpire an earful. He didn't get that pitch called the way he wanted it to, but the manager's planting a seed in that umpire's mind to try to expand the strike zone so some of those borderline pitches start to go his pitcher's way. There's a lot of moving parts in some guy's swings. It usually takes them a month or so to get it ironed out. Hey, Sucre. So striding forward now, Jesus Sucre. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Up around the face. Hey. Looking at a fastball for a strike on the corner. Echeverria leads off first with one away. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. Altair is after it. And oh, a diving try, but it's off his glove, so the at bat will continue. The 1 2. Misses for the second ball. Popped him up. Santana has a play. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. Now batting. Left fielder. Ready for another chance. Malik Smith. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. First pitch on its way. Comes right after him with a fastball for a strike. You know, Matty, when I first broke into the league, you wouldn't see that high heater first pitch right out of the gate. But I think there's been a change in, in philosophy here. Back in the late 90s, early 2000s, guys wanted to attack you more east-west, get you leaning left-right. Now you're seeing guys attack in the floor. And the center fielder is under it to make a catch, and the inning is over. One left for Tampa. It remains one nothing. Digging in for his second at bat, Aaron Altair, as we begin the top of the fourth. First offering on its way. And that one stayed too low, apparently. Belt high and right down the middle for a strike. The 1 1 home is in off the plate. That ball's headed for the gap in left center. He's got a base hit. Possibly more. And he's going to make it. He's in at second base with a leadoff double. You think they'd stop pitching to this guy by now. He's been torching them all weekend, and he stays hot here with another extra base hit. They'll be happy when this series is over, so they don't have to deal with this dude anymore. From the stretch, here's the pitch. 
No balls and a strike to count. Easy fly ball into shallow center field. Here's the center fielder. One out. Riding in once again, Jorge Alfaro comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. And that misses for ball 1. Alfaro, just 24 years of age, he's in his rookie year here at the big league level. Hard hit ball to second. Cone right there. Pro gets him, two down. Up next for Philadelphia. And that'll bring in J.P. Crawford, runner in scoring position with Sugan. He's set. Here it comes. Tried to check it, and it's 0-1. Oh, 0-1 is a splitter that misses for the first ball. No contact there, and it's one and two. That's a real tough pitch to hit. That's as in the pitcher's jargon, we call that the Hall of Fame pitch, that slider down and in. Really the only way you're going to be able to hit that. Pitch. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Philly strand one, but they're up one to nothing. Digging in, Matt Duffy. He'll lead things He's off on here in this one-run contest. Baseman, Matt Duffy. The pitch. And this one runs up high, ball one. Duffy, often known as the Duff Man in baseball circles. This is the final year of his current deal, so he'll be a free agent at season's end. Hey, I think if you ask this guy honestly how his season's gone so far, he'd tell you he's not happy with it. It's been kind of an average year for him, but he has time to get hot and make that salary push. Now the one and one pitch. Takes a ah. pitch for strike number two. One and two's the count. Ground ball sent back up the middle. He's got it. And the throw here is in time. Very nicely done there at short for the first out. And it doesn't look like the manager fully agrees with that out call at first. It appears he may opt to challenge it and have the play reviewed. Well, I think we're going to have to wait and see what the word is from the dugout. But here's another look at it. Wow. Tough to tell if he was out for certain from that angle. I can see why this was a really tough call for the umpire. So here's the signal from the bench, and they will indeed ask for the play to be reviewed. So the umpires will get on the horn with the replay operations center in Manhattan and attempt to get a definitive answer on this play. The Rays are challenging. All right, we'll take one last look at it here. The question is, is there enough video evidence to change the call to safe? And wow, from that look at it, I think he did beat that throw. This challenge might work out for him. The decision appears to have been made as the headset comes off and the runner is safe. So the call is overturned. The runner will stay at first base and they maintain the right to challenge further plays going forward. And the batter rules. Here's C.J. Crone now. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. These are the moments in the game that can sway it one way or another while you get a W or a loss right here. Leadoff man on, heart of the order coming up. Guy out on the mound has got his work cut out for him. A ball and a strike. Hit on the ground to third. Poof has it to second for one. On to first to complete the double play. Now back, number 42. So now it'll be the four hole hitter, number 42. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Here comes the first pitch. And a fastball just below the knees, ball one. Two out, nobody on. Here's 
There's a breaking ball that falls in there for a strike to even things at one and one. Uh, and that fastball's too much for him there. One and two. Hey, if these guys are going to have any chance in this one, they are going to have to set their sights a little lower. You cannot expect to get the barrel of the bat. Got him looking, and that'll do it. The inning is over. Nothing doing for Tampa. They're on the short end of a one to nothing score. Standing in, Trevor Plouffe. He'll start things out as we begin the fifth. First delivery to him on the way. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Oh, and he misses it. So that'll go into the books as an E6, and he'll be kicking himself over that one. So the lineup flips over and digging in, Cesar Hernandez. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Here's the first pitch to him. And that one just missed outside. Nobody out, runner on first. And this is a fastball that's right on the black but ruled a ball. It's 2-0 now. Those were great takes right there. Those were pitches that a lot of guys normally swing at. But he took both of them and finally. And he's into second safely with a stolen base. Now the 2 1 pitch. Takes that one for strike two on the inside corner. A swing and a miss on a ball way out of the zone, and there's one away. Really good late bite on that slider right there. The best now ones that have that late action that just starts at the last minute. They're so tough to get the bat on, and when you've got that good slider going, it's a great strikeout pitch. Stepping in now, number 42. And yes, he'll take a look at ball one. He's working on a one for two game so far. Grounder hit hard down the first baseline, but a foul ball, one and one. A wave and a miss, a tick behind a good fastball. The one two popped him up. Number 42 over to his left. He's got it, and there are two down now. How about it? And that'll bring up the Sacramento product, Reese Hoskins. A couple of singles to his credit thus far. Hit well on the ground to first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. One left for Philadelphia, but they lead it one to nothing. And that'll bring up the former first rounder, Christian Arroyo. He leads off in the bottom of the fifth as they look to break through on the scoreboard for the first time in this one. Yeah, baseball is a game of adjustments, and it's time they start making some. They don't need to change their entire approach necessarily, but now is maybe when they start thinking about ways to get the guy in the mound out of his rhythm a bit. At the plate, number 42. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Takes a look at a strike over the inside corner. Ani pops it up. In there, a base hit. Hey, they're not all beautiful. And they don't all have to be. Just throwing a lawn dart over the third base of his head right there. Beautiful piece of hit. So stepping in, number 42. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. And a fastball just a bit up. Oh, yeah. 
This one's flared off to the right side. Altair on the move, but he won't get there. It falls in. Throw in time as he's called out on a very close play at second. Oh, man, I don't know how that happened. Looked to be a base hit to the outfield, but then all of a sudden the throw comes in and they get the force on the play. To be honest, that just can't happen. Here's Echeverria now as he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball 1-0. and oh. As a hitter right here, you have to tell yourself, I can't get too big. Don't let the moment get away from me. A nice bullet in the gap gets the job done in this situation. The 1-0 home yeah. is in there for strike one. Echeverria is a strong defender playing up the middle in the infield. He's got great hands, good range, the big arm, and those skills are not lost on his teammates, his coaches, or his front office for that matter. Yeah, he has the ability. What I love about this ball player, he's got such a great internal flop. It seems like... And the throw is in time to get him to retire the side. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and a man left. Five innings complete. It's the Phillies one, the Rays nothing. Here's the center fielder, Odubel Herrera. He's batting cleanup in this... Leading off for Philadelphia. Center fielder, Odubel He's set and the pitch. Check swing here in a little looper. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. How about it? Right field. Aaron Altair. Digging in and looking for more. Aaron Altair. Two hits and two trips for him thus far. First pitch on its way. Herrera's off and running. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Swung on and missed. Outclassed by that fastball for a strike. Hey, as an offense, you do your homework, you scout. He hasn't been using that pitch an awful lot. I say you just throw that out. If he's going to flip that occasionally for a strike, then so be it. The next 0-2. Freezes him. A strikeout looking. Up next for Philadelphia. Very Stepping in and ready for another shot. Carlos Santana. He flew out in his last at bat. From the stretch. A little bouncer. That's a foul ball. Runner goes for second. Pitch misses low. The throw down. And it skips in as he steals the bag easily. Good lead there at second. Here's the pitch. This is on the ground over to first. And he'll take this one to the bag for the out. But meanwhile, the runner will move up 90 feet to third base. Ready for another shot now. Jorge Alfaro. He was a ground. Looking to keep this a one-run game, the pitch. And that misses low and away, ball one. Yeehaw. Slider right over the middle, taken for a strike. The 1-1. One, one. Strike two, swinging. You know, you don't face too many guys that have thrown a nasty splitter like he has today. He's had this lineup off balance all game with that pitch. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Phillies strand one, but they're on top one to nothing. Digging in to try it again. Jesus Sucre. Up for the Rays. After Jesus Sucre. Here's the first pitch to him. Takes a knee-high fastball. Hey, this guy has been locating his fastball all game to perfection. Talking to a number of big league pitchers over the years, they'll tell you a well-executed fastball with good location is still the best pitch in the game. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. Here comes another 0-2. 
Uh, they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. Oh, I love watching a pitcher that can run a good hard fastball in on a guy's hands and completely lock him up. That's such a tough pitch to do anything with. If you can locate your fastball there consistently, you're going to have a lot of success as a pitcher. Malik Smith, the next to hit. Fastball right back to the mound. And he'll just flip this on to first for the second out of the inning. Up next for Tampa Bay, third baseman, Matt Duffy. Ready for another chance. Matt Duffy, one for two in the ballgame thus far. Here comes the first pitch. <laughs> Takes a look down at the knees for a strike. Almost a worm burner as he misses on a low fastball. Ball one. Missed with a slider. Two and one's the count. Down the third baseline. But this will wind up a foul ball. Two and two. Back to back breaking balls. He just missed that one right there, fouling it away. Do not expect a third. This is line to left, and he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Down in order go the Rays. They still trail 1 0. Back here at Tropicana Field in St. Pete. It's on to the seventh inning now with the Phillies out in front. And it's a good time to check out our game summary through the first six innings so far. Your attention, please. Now pitching for the Rays, number 42. Ready once again, J.P. Crawford. He'll lead it off here as we begin inning number seven. Curveball looked at here for strike one. Sent out to straightaway center field. Prone over to his right. Oh, and he whips on it. Throw into second, and he is in there. So that'll go down as an E4, as he certainly had his problems that time in second base. Digging in now for Philadelphia. Trevor Plouffe, an error allowed him to reach base in his last appearance. And that misses inside 1 0. Crawford stands at second with no outs. Swing and a miss as he ramps up on the fastball 1 and 1. I know that fastball registered at about 92 93, but I guarantee you it looked about four to five miles an hour faster than that for this offensive player. After coming off a curveball, the old push to throttle and pull it is being used. And he'll make it up to third safely here with one away. So the lineup flips over and digging in, Cesar Hernandez. Not much in the way of productivity from him so far, but he's got a chance to come through here in a crucial spot. Yeah, it's time now that he has to put the rest of those bats behind it because none of that matters if he can clutch up when it really counts. Alvarado is there, and he makes the catch for the out. Now back. Number 42. Digging in once again. Number 42. He's working here to bring home that very important insurance run standing at third. Lifted into the air out towards center field. Waiting on it, the center fielder. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. One left for Philadelphia. They lead it one to nothing. Riding in once again, C.J. Crone to try and get something started in the home half of the seventh. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. Hmm, couldn't quite pull that swing back. He went around for strike one. Well, it's been a good outing so far, but he hasn't really racked up the strikeout totals that you might think, Dan. Yeah, it amazes me how every game you pitch can be so different, Matt. Sometimes it feels like guys can't touch you and you're just punching everyone out. But other times, you don't have your good stuff and you really rely on movement and location to get outs. That's been the case for him today, and it's really working. And that's in for a base hit. Make it a one for three games so far. So it's a good start to the inning for the Rays as their leadoff hitter is aboard. 
They need to be aggressive right here from the offensive standpoint. Lead off base hit, bottom of the seventh, you're down one. This has to be the moment they scratch one across. Into the box, number 42. As he takes a cold strike on the black, it's 0-1. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Curveball. This one clocked at 78, and it's 0-2. Two. two great pitches down in the zone. Interested to see where he goes now. Does he bounce something in the dirt? Does he go elevated fastball? A lot of options at hand right now. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Really important time for a strikeout there, guys. Tying run at first, so objective number one is straining him on base. And now with one out, it becomes a lot more difficult to manufacture that run. To the plate now for the Rays is the D.H. Christian Arroyo. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. First pitch of the at bat. Comes right after him with a fastball for a strike. Hey sometimes you have to look at it like it's not how or how many. Pitching very well into this one into the late innings and his first pitch strike percentage less than 50 percent. He'd like it to be a lot higher than that. He's making it very difficult on himself, but he's still getting outs. Looking to put him away. Here's the 0-2. Takes this the other way to right. And that'll get down for a base hit. I appreciate the moxie right there, but three fastballs at this level usually turns into a knock. Up next for the Rays, number 42. He singled in two trips to the plate thus far. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. Now, I'm sure these infielders know it, but this hitter can burn down the baseline. So if he puts a ground ball in play, the defense is going to have to make a perfect turn to turn two. Oh, one. Here's the pitch. Sliders in for a strike. One out with the possible tying and go ahead runs on base here. Off the plate at 94, 1 and 2. That's a great take right there. You knew the pitcher was going to try and expand the zone 0 2 in a big spot, and he was able to spit on that one. Hopefully, get something in the heart of the plate this pitch. Hit back up the middle. Ah, flip of his glove for one. On to first, not in time, as the umpire was right there to make the call. Great job of hustle there by the base runner. That looked like an easy inning ending double play now runners at first and third with two outs digging in number 42 and their runners at the corners now Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. No, now a fastball. A bit too low here. It's ball one. Swing and a liner into right center. That's going to be a base hit. In comes the runner from third. It's a big two out hit. And that will tie the ball game. Now back. You know, d in today's game, it's not easy scoring in the late innings. So that RBI base hit to tie things up, that comes at a really good time. Yeah, I say it's not easy. They got 11 guys in the bullpen, and I don't think a guy throws under 97 miles an hour with sinking cut. That is unbelievable he's able to get that knock in that big spot. Here's the Philadelphia manager on his way out to the mound now, and it would appear he's seen enough of his starter this afternoon. 
So he'll leave with a couple of runners aboard that are his responsibility, meaning he'd be happy to get out of here with a no decision. Your attention, please. Now pitching for Philadelphia, number 42, Tommy Hunter. Here's Echeverria now, as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. One run, six hits, two errors for the Rays in the game so far. Skied into straightaway right. Altair moves over. He hauls it in, and the potential go-ahead run will not come around to score. Rays will settle for just the one. Eighth inning coming up, all tied at one and one. And that'll bring up the Sacramento product, Reese Hoskins. And this tie ball game is a battle of the bullpens now, and I'm sure you're enjoying that, Dan. Bullpens are such a big part of baseball now, Matt. All these teams have such good seventh, eighth, and ninth inning guys. It all boils down to whose bullpen is better. A ball and a strike now. The 1-1 home. It's hit very well to right. This one's hammered, and it's going to go. That one is gone! A solo shot here to straightaway right field, and it's now a one-run ball game. I can tell you one thing. You might get away with throwing a ball in that location in the minor leagues, but when you get one up like that in the zone right over the plate against these guys, you're going to get exactly what he got. A really bad result. Here's the center fielder, Odubel Herrera, as he'll watch a first pitch curveball drop in there for strike one. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. And that's inside off the plate with the fastball. It's one and one. The one-one. Lifted the other way out to left center. Duffy calls for it. And that's the first out of the inning. Now batting. Right fielder. Aaron Altair. Standing in. Aaron Altair. One run in and one gone so far in this inning. First delivery to him on the way. Hit sharply on the ground to the left. And that finds its way through for a base hit. Hey, this guy's obviously seeing the ball right now. That's another hard hit single. Three for four right there. He's looking super solid at the So now Carlos Santana. Runners off for second. Served out to left off the end of the bat. And that's in there. Base hit. Wow, that's surprising right there. Hit and run. Tactic used to perfection. Balls hit to the outfield. The batter does his job. I don't know how that runner's standing on second still. You tip your hat to the outfield to get it in super quick, but he's got to take the chance to get to third. He takes a good curveball at the knees. Altair over at second. Santana is over at first with one away. Classic change of speeds right there. Threw the hitter's timing off. Got a late foul ball. Interested to see where he goes now. Here it comes, 0-2. And, and a curveball that started low and broke lower. Ball. One and two, here it comes. Hard hit ball to second. But well, this is hauled in by the second baseman. Up next for Philadelphia. Designated hitter. And that'll bring in J.P. Crawford. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Oh, and he serves this one out into right field. That one's going to fall in. A base hit. He'll come home with it. And not in time as the run scores. Boy, that's a big RBI right there to give this team a two-run cushion going into the late innings. And it always makes it easier on the opposing pitcher to know they have a two-run lead. Yeah, Leo Mazzoni always used to say, old pitching coach for the Atlanta Braves, solos won't kill us, guys. And he's absolutely right. You give yourself a two-run lead, a solo homer's not going not gonna to do too much damage. 
He could really use a knock here. 0 for 3 in the game so far. Into center field, and that's going to get down for a base hit. Santana rounds third and is digging for the plate. And he's safe at the plate as they push their lead to three now. Hey, Dero, that's a big RBI right there to stretch this lead to three. Takes a lot of pressure off your pitcher going into the bottom part of the inning. Yeah, Dan, no doubt. As an offense, all you're trying to do is put your pitchers in positions to be successful. Giving them that three-run cushion has to make you feel good. And there's a pitch that just misses the inside corner. Struggling so far in this one and looking to erase his 0 for 4 ball game right here. A bouncer up the middle. Echeverria has it. The tag and they'll get him at second. And with that, the side is retired. So they strike for three runs on five hits. No errors and a couple of men left on. Not too many more shots left. Home half of the eighth coming up. Riding in. Jesus. And leading off for the Rays. Even though we're moving After into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast. They could certainly use that right now. And he gets ahead here with the fastball. Strike one. Oh, and one count and the pitch. There's a strike. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Right side. And a good throw gets him one gun. Now batting. Left fielder. Alex. Malik Smith the next to hit. He was a ground out victim last time up. He's set. Here it comes. There's a knee high pitch that catches the zone. Hey let's not sugarcoat this. This is a huge half inning right here. They have to find a way to score a few runs. They do not want to face the closer needing three runs in the ninth. That means game over. And he'll lay out to make a spectacular catch. Wow. Taking another look at it, the ball has some top spin on it, but he's on the full run and dives to make the catch. Nice defensive play right there. It'll be Ramos. will come on in relief as he'll make his second appearance of the season so far. Stepping in, Matt Duffy. And they're down to their final four outs here, Dan. Yeah, and it's not looking too good for them right now, Matt. They've got a significant hill to climb, but they've got to take it one bat at a time. A couple of guys get on, and then who knows what could happen. Check swing here as he couldn't help himself, and it's ruled strike two. Eighth inning, four to one is our score. Swing and a miss as the slider sets him down for the final out of the inning. Rays go in order, one, two, three. They trail it four to one. Vidal Nuno enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. So next to the plate for the Phils, number 42. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. No balls in one strike. And that pitch catches the inside corner. Off speed pitch ball, in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. The one two. Misses ball two. Hey great job right there. Anytime you're down 0 2. I think it's a successful at bat if you can work it back to an even count and at least give yourself a chance. And a swing and a miss. Good pitch there for the first out here in the ninth. It's always nice to keep a guy that has good wheels off base. And that's just what they did right there. Big strikeout. Keep that guy off the base path. Into the box now. Reese Hoskins. Yeah, that last at bat, Daddy, he turned that fastball around. He didn't hit it a ton. He didn't hit it a country mile. But, hey, listen, a home run is a home run. Three for four so far and seeing it well in this ballgame. game. 
Yeah, and he gets him to swing through that one. He's in control 0-2. Oh wow, what makes it so tough to be a hitter is to be able to hit and change his speed, right? You're geared up for the fastball, and all of a sudden, he pulls the string and throws you the straight change, the dreaded equalizer. Now another 0-2. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back-to-back -back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. No problems for him on the mound since he's come out of the pen to start this inning. That's back-to-back -back K's, and he's making it look pretty easy. This has the makings of a good outing so far. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And the slider stayed low, apparently, for a ball. And he's in front of a tight little slider that time. Bases are empty here with two men out. Ground ball right into the ship. Echeverria's there. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Phillies down in order as they hold on to a 4-1 to one lead. Pat Neshek comes on looking for a save here in the bottom of the ninth inning. Number 42, Pat Neshek. Here's C.J. Crone now. He's working on a one for three thus far. Looks like a tall order trying to tie or take the lead against this guy who leads the league in saves. One ball, no strikes to count. The 1-0 home. Slapped hard the opposite way. And a base hit, so the leadoff man is on to begin the inning. Hey, excellent job right there, leading off the inning with a base hit. we got to keep this line moving. We cannot stop. Nobody can make an out. We have to find a way to put two men, maybe three men, put some pressure on this defense. Next to battle will be the Tampa Bay cleanup hitter, number 42. 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. First pitch of the at-bat. Tough slider down low for a strike. Prone on it first. Nobody out. Lays off That's the sinker ball. here. A ball and a strike. One and one. Now the one and one pitch. Good sinker that time as he gets a piece and chops it foul at home plate. The one two gets him looking strike three. You know, I'm not quite sure how that strikeout will be scored looking or swinging. He tried to check his swing, but I'm pretty sure the home plate umpire was ringing him up regardless. And that will bring up the former first-rounder, Christian Arroyo. Strike one to start the at-bat. Swing and a miss, and he's in control 0-2. In a double play situation, that's the location you want a guy to swing at. More than likely, he's going to beat it into the ground. And a swing and a miss there on a late-breaking slider as he set down on strikes for the second time this afternoon. That's back-to-back -back oh, strikeouts is. now as Number they've been unable to advance that leadoff single into scoring position. He had clearly no problems working out of the stretch right now, Matt. He's taking control of this inning after giving up that hit. Now we'll see if he can finish it off strong as well. It comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Just a bit jumpy that time. Swung on and missed. You know, they finally get the leadoff runner on. It, it would be sad to watch him waste this opportunity. Somebody's got to come through with a base hit. And this ball's in the air to left field, and this should do it. And he'll make the final out to put an end to this one, and the Phillies have taken the rubber match of this three-game set as this ball game is over.
Hey, a great win for these guys as they wrap up another one. But a little bit of a sour note, though. Everyone has to head home, get on those computers, and get those taxes out before midnight. And the score finishes 4-1 to one today. Philadelphia came through late, taking the lead in the eighth to secure the victory. Tommy Hunter claims the win out of the pen his first. Pat Neshek closes the door for the save his tenth. So that'll just about do it. For my partners Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching a presentation of MLB Network. So long, everybody. Our final line score this afternoon, first for the victorious...